Welcome, citizens. Chadarius here. So, I am doing another in my voice tech series, and I'm going to show you how to measurably improve your targeting pip. This is the targeting pip by default. Can you even see it? Nope, you can't. I have to move the ship, and it'll show up, right? That tiny little red thing, that's what you get. Um, and if you stop moving, or if it's, you know, not just the right conditions, it uh, disappears. It's ridiculous. <coughs> so, um, even if you don't have voice attack, you could do this. I'm going to show you how to set this all to a single key. Um, we're going to use F3. That's what I use in my assemble free voice tech profile. The link for that is in the description to my GitHub. You can download all of it for free and use voice tech um, with uh, Star Citizen. You have to pay for voice tech, but you can use my profile for free. And uh, I'm going to show you how I configure it here. So we go to options. Key bindings, advanced controls, customization. And we're going to find vehicles, weapons. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set, I'm not going to use toggles, I'm going to set uh, lead pip. If you don't like lead pip and you like lag pip instead, then set it to lag pip, right? And, and I just set it to F3. Then we're going to turn precision lines on F3. I have this uh, alt-right backslash so I can switch back and forth for demonstration purposes. Otherwise, I wouldn't configure those. Um, and then the next one we're going to do is pip fading off. <coughs> and the last one we're going to set is gunnery UI magnification on. So what do these do? Uh, precision lines add some extra lines that also makes the whole targeting pip a little bit bigger and a little bit easier to see um, fading off gets rid of that weird fading crap that makes no sense the pip will be on all the time no matter how you're moving no matter where it is on the screen and then the gunnery UI magnification on makes the tiny barely seen little circle into a nice big circle so you can actually see it uh, so you could just hit F3 and it'll do all those or since this is voice tack video Ava targeting defaults targeting default set look at that isn't that amazing Look at that big, juicy targeting pip. It's there no matter what I do. And it, it I don't know, that, that looks like it's about 10 times bigger than the old one. So we're going to go back to the old one. And where is it? Can't be seen. You know, maybe if you got far, sometimes if you get far enough away, it'll show it to you. But it uh, doesn't look like I'm going to have to strafe in order to even see it. Yeah, so there, there's the, the tiny, tiny little... And there's my new default. The other thing that my voice attack commands will do is it will set this by default. When you run the prepare for takeoff command... So this is what a lot of my voice tech commands do, is they kind of string together a bunch of other useful stuff. So I just have to say one thing, and it does all the things that I would normally do, right? So this is basically the whole ship setup when I first uh, get in the ship in my hangar. <clears throat> I say, prepare for takeoff, and it uh, contacts docking control, starts those doors opening right away. Then it powers up the ship. Then it turns the lights on. Then it resets my power. It turns my speed limiter all the way up. 
by using the full impulse command. And then it does the targeting defaults command, which hits F3, which is whatever I set for my defaults. That way, every single time when I take a ship out, everything gets set the way I want, and I can actually see and target things. Oop, I just put my hand in front of my face. <laughs> Where I can actually see and target things in Star Citizen again, after their ridiculous HUD updates. So, that's it. Uh, if you've got questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, go check out my GitHub repository. Uh, my uh, Discord is also in the uh, description. Uh, come say hello. Ask me questions. Tell me I'm an idiot. Uh, you know, make suggestions for uh, Assemble Free. And, uh, you know, make it better for everyone. All right. Have a good one, everyone.